hello everyone so now we will see this circuit c okay so first we will talk about only v naught okay for v naught at t equals to 0 your capacitor x as short circuit right capacitors x as short circuited so what will be the circuit this will be short circuited and this capacitor will also be short circuited so this is your v in this capacitor is short circuited the upper capacitor is short circuited here we have r and here we have this capacitor this is also short circuited okay and this is v naught so the complete circuit is short circuited now right because this is resistance r and now the complete circuit is short circuited so because the complete circuit is short circuited there is infinite current infinite current or impulse current that means there will be sudden change in voltage sudden change in capacitor voltage do you understand it because the complete circuit is short circuited they and because of that because this is v and there is total zero resistance so it would be current would be infinite v upon zero that would be infinite so because of the infinite current there will be sudden change in the capacitor voltage that concept i have already explained right when there is infinite current flowing through the capacitor there will be sudden change in capacitor voltage okay and what else you can see if we, if we see at t equals to zero complete circuit is short circuited right so v not if if you go by if you go by this direction so v not can be zero if you go by this direction it says v not should be zero and if you go by this direction the v not should be equals to vi so there is ambiguity there is violation of kvl and kcl there is violation of kvl actually so there is violation of kvl this says it should be v not and this says it should be vi so there is violation of kvl violation of kvl so this short circuit and open circuit concept will not be valid here okay so now what you will do so at t equals to 0 we have infinite frequency content and the impedance provided by the capacitance will be equals to almost 0 so your parallel combination of rc will be replaced by simply a capacitor this parallel combination of rc will be replaced by simply a capacitor and this is replaced by capacitor and this will also be a capacitor only this is c this is c and here we have vi okay and this is 5 volt from 0 to 5 volt okay so what will be the v naught v naught at t equals to 0 0 plus what we can write so it would be 5 by 2 that would be equals to 2.5 volt okay so v naught at 2 t equals to 0 plus we have 2.5 volt and at t equals to infinity at t equals to infinity capacitor will be open circuited so capacitor will be open circuited so parallel combination of rc will be replaced by simply a resistance r and this will also be open circuited okay and here we have vi and this is your v naught so your v naught at t equals to infinity will be equals to v only so whatever the voltage is it is it is equals to 5 volt here we have 5 volt right so your v naught at t equals to infinity will be 5 volt so from 2.5 volt to 5 volt it will rise so for the waveform of v naught from 2.5 to 5 it will rise okay okay now talking about this waveform let us call it vc1 okay now we needed to draw vc1 okay i will again draw the circuit here this is c this is and here we have 5 volt okay and this is v naught so initially at t equals to 0 this is your vc1 so at t equals to 0 your circuit is something like this right 
right so your vc1 is 2.5 volt right and at t equals to infinity at t equals to infinity your circuit is something like this right this is here 5 volt and this is v0 so there is no current flowing here so the current is zero here so this is 5 and this will also be 5 volt and because of that vc value is the total drop on vc is 0 volt right here we have 5 here also we have 5 so vc1 is 0 so it is reducing from 2.5 to 0 volt 4 vc1 with time it is going from 2.5 to 0 volt right okay now we will talk about currents okay so that is important point so now we need to comment about ic1 and ic2 okay also we will comment about ir so first we are talking about at t equals to 0 uh, forget about t equals to 0 first just tell me what is vc value vc is uh, what is charge on capacitor qc is c into vc right q equals to cv now dqc by dt equals to c into dcu by dt and that is equals to ic right that you know ic is equals to c into dcu by dt okay now what you can see there is a sudden change of first it had zero voltage and in no time it goes to 0 to v by 2 first it had 0 voltage then in no time it is going from 0 to v by 2 so at t goes to 0 vc1 what you should write vc1 for t goes to 0 minus it is 0 volt and vc1 at t goes to 0 plus is 2.5 volt right v by 2 means 2.5 volt so and you can write qc1 for t equals to 0 minus it is 0 volt and qc1 for t equals to 0 plus is cv right so 2.5 into c uh, volt i shouldn't write 0 this is 0 c into v that we are doing right so the change in the charge is 2.5 c right and in what time in no time in no time do you understand so there is a change of 2.5 c coulomb here c is not coulomb c is the capacitance okay coulomb charge in no time so your dq is 2.5 c and your dt is tending to zero so your dq by dt that means your current at zero t equals to zero would be 2.5 c delta t do you get it v by v in by 2 delta t because there is change of v v uh, v by 2 there is change of v in by 2 and you multiply it you multiply it with capacitance so it would be cv by 2 and then it is changing in no time so the current would be cv by 2 delta t okay so similar for vc2 as well for vc2 as well the current at t equals to 0 right the current at t equals to 0 would be cv by 2 delta t so so for ic1 at t equals to 0 that is equals to ic2 at t equals to 0 that would be cv by v in by 2 c v in by 2 delta t and in our equation it is equals to 2.5 delta t so i hope you have understood this concept okay 
So initially we have got the voltage. Now talking about at t equals to zero plus. At t equals to zero plus, what will happen? Okay. So at t equals to zero plus, let me draw the circuit once again. At t equals to zero plus. This is R, this is C, this is C. Here we have 2.5 volt, right? At 2 equals to 0 plus, and here also we have 2.5 volt. Okay, and this is input voltage 0 to 5 volt at t equals to 0. Okay, so this is 2.5 volt, right? And because this 2.5 volt is coming here as well. So here we have, let us not give it some values. We should call it V in by 2 that we, we should tell. Okay. By values, it, it becomes a bit different. So we are calling V in by 2 and here as well we have V in by 2. And because of that, here the current we have is V in by 2R. Right. Now at T goes to 0 plus, because of this value, we are having V in by 2R current. So here we have V in by 2R and it has two parts. It can go here and it will go here. Now what happens is that we have seen in the voltage waveform, this was over VC1, right? This was over VC1. The VC1 is going down, right? VC1 value is going down. So it is discharging and VC2 value is going up. So it is charging. So in this question, this, this is the current, right? V in by R. This is going in two direction. First will go in this direction, going in negative direction. It means the capacitor is discharging and it is going in positive, positive voltage. That means the capacitor is charging and both the capacitor and the both capacitor and both C1 and C2 are charging and discharging with same rate, right? Here, if we have V in by 2R current, the VC1 is discharging, VC1 is discharging and VC2 is charging and both are charging and discharging at same rate. Why? Because the time constant is same, right? Because the time constant for the complete circuit is 2RC that we will see what is how we can determine the time constant. But this is first order circuit and the time constant is same. So the speed of charging and, and the speed of discharging is same. So both of them will be having the same current, right? Initially, we have the current V by 2R in the register. Now this upper capacitor C1 is getting charged, sorry C1 is getting discharged and this C2 is getting charged and both of them are charging, getting charged and discharged at the same rate, right? So both of them will be having the same current. So V, v in by 4R current has to go here and V in by 4R current has to go here. Okay. So what do you understand? <coughs> Initially, we are talking about, first we are talking about IC1, okay, first we are talking about IC1. So initially we had a impulse current, impulse current of value, what was the value? C into V in by 2, that was the value, right? C into V in by 2 delta T, okay. And then at T equals to 0 plus we had V in by 4R current, right? This is the value, like we don't know the value. This is V in by 4R current. Now at steady state, what happens? At steady state, this capacitor will be open circuited. This will also be open circuited. So the current will be zero. So first it is V in by 4R and then it is reduced to zero. Right. So the interviewer may, may ask you, what is the current at T equals to zero? At T equals to zero, at that time, the current is C VI by 2 delta T. The current is infinity. So the current value is C, C into V i by 2 delta T. And what is the value of current at T equals to 0 plus? At T equals to 0 plus, we are having V in by 4 R current. Okay. At T equals to 0 plus, we are having V in by 4 R current. Why so? Because at T equals to 0 plus, here we have V in by 2 R current. And both of the capacitors are charging and discharging at same rate. So we are having V in by 4 R current here and V in by 4 R current here. So at T equals to 0 plus, we are having V in by 4 R. And slowly, both of the capacitor will get fully charged, uh, charged and discharged. Okay, so at that time the current through the capacitor will be zero. So it is discharged completely. And also you can see this the current in the register. Initially it is V in by 2R and at eventually, eventually what will happen? Eventually 
this will be your circuit so the current will be zero so the current in register will be zero the current in this register will be zero and current in this register will also be zero so talking about the we have drawn here ic1 now we will draw ir so for ir so for ir what we have seen for ir what was the amount of current we were having v in by 2r and then it is discharged to zero current okay okay now talking about ic2 okay now we are talking about ic2 so in the ic2 as well we had an impulse current that was c into v in by 2 delta t that was an impulse current then at t equals to 0 plus at t equals to 0 plus what was the voltage we were having uh, what was the current we were having v in by 4r because this was getting charged so from v in by 4r eventually what will happen the capacitor will be open circuited so current will go to zero so that is one uh, important concept they may ask you what is the voltage at t equals to what is the current in the capacitor at t equals to zero plus not at t equals to zero at t equals to zero what we will say there is a sudden change in the voltage so the volt so the current would be c into v in by 2 delta t that you will say and what is the value of current at t equals to zero plus at t equals to zero plus you will tell the current in this register is v in by 2r so equal amount of current will go in both of the uh, in both of the capacitors so here we have v in by 4r and here we will have v in by 4r and slowly the current reduces to zero okay and now this capacitor is charged to from 2.5 to initially it had zero and suddenly it, it goes to 2.5 then it is charged to 5 volt okay and then for vc vc1 initially it is charged to 2.5 then it is it reduces to zero volt okay so this is the complete concept here okay i hope you have understood this this was an intuitive analysis you can solve it by laplace and then confirm your answer as well okay now in the next video we will see the circuit last circuit okay thank you